Okay, number four. A force of 20 newtons acts at a distance of 20 cm from a pivot. What is the moment of the force about the pivot and include the unit in your answer? Well, the moment of force is equal to the force times perpendicular distance from the fulcrum, which is 20 cm times 20 newtons times 20 cm, which is 400 newton centimeters, which is good. Um, he did do a conversion to newton meters, still good. All right. Next, what is what weight W must be hung on the ruler to balance it? All right. Since the root rule is balanced, you see total clockwise moments equals total anti-clockwise moments. The anti-clockwise force is W. So anti-clockwise moment is W times 20 cm, which is equal to clockwise moment, which is a clockwise force, 100 newtons, times the distance away from the fulcrum, 30 cm. So you see the work in there gives you that eliminate substitution and elimination gives you 150 newtons alright <coughs> next question the diagram shows a 1 meter roller pivoted at its midpoint at what distance x from the left end of the roller must this must the 10 newton force be applied to balance the ruler once again because it says rulers reverse balance you, you see total clockwise moments equals a total anti-clockwise moment um the problem with this question however is that it says that the uh, meter sorry the ruler is one meter if we're from here here is 50 centimeters so and from here to here is 30 centimeters it means the moment is acting at 50 minus 30 20 cm away from the fulcrum fulcrum remember we always wanted the moment is the force times the perpendicular distance from the fulcrum so this uh, clockwise moment and first of all this is incorrect the clockwise moment is this is 20 newton not the anti-clockwise this should be the other way around the total anti-clockwise moment is 10 newtons multiplied by not x either multiplied by 50 minus x because this entire thing is 50 the moment is 10 multiplied by what the distance from here to here so here to here is 50 minus x so the total anti-clockwise moment is 10 newtons multiplied by 50 minus x centimeters Total clockwise moment is 20 newtons multiplied by 20 cm since 20 is 50 minus 30 and well we worked that one out in class but I basically explained it from here you can fill in the right values and get it out all right number seven A roller is placed on the pivot and three forces act on it as shown. Which force has no moment about the no moment about the pivot? Explain the answer. Alright. It says here a 20 newton force because the turning effect or moment of a force is dependent on both the size of the force and how far it is applied from the pivot or fulcrum. In the diagram shown the 20 newton force is positioned exactly on the pivot therefore it has no effect on the no effect on the clockwise or anti-clockwise moment or it does not create any clockwise or anti-clockwise moment is what that should have been right. next calculate the moment of the other two forces about the pivot 
for the moment I'm about to add to force about the pivot with um just be four times distance two times which is 70 cm multiplied by 6 newtons and 14 cm multiplied by 30 newtons you were not, you were not asked to do to show this compared and they said do it individually for the B part of the question the C part of the question is asking is it turning clockwise or anti-clockwise that's when you do the comparison all right number eight the diagram shows a horizontal beam pivoted at its midpoint with two downward forces acting on it which force is tending to turn the blade the beam clockwise calculate the moment of that force all right well of course the 20 newton force is tending to turn the beam clockwise since it's acting down on the right hand side of the pivot the moment is force times distance which is 20 newtons sorry yeah which is 20 newtons multiplied by 1.2 meters which is 24 newton meters anti-clockwise moments calculated in a similar manner and c part asks are these forces balance or will the beam begin to turn well, because clockwise moments is equal to anti-clockwise moment the system is balanced all right number nine the diagram shows how a uh, heavy slab of stone can be raised using a lever calculate the force x needed sorry the force f needed to lift the stone so we have our diagram there all right the force f needed to lift the stone is uh think of it as remember how to calculate the, f the amount of work that's done against gravity when lifting uh an object but the force f needed to lift the stone will be just the force to cause the equilibrium just to overcome anything after that will cause the stone to flick or to <laughs> yeah just say flick because that is how it is just <laughs> anyways so <coughs> We calculate for our equilibrium position and we have the anti-clockwise moment about the pivot being 1000 newtons times 0 0.3 meters and the clockwise moment about the pivot being F multiplied by 10 meters. Remember, if this is the distance, oh, I will bring this in, I will bring this in test to see how many people are looking at the video. If I give this distance here and I see the force the force is acting here then you can't see the clockwise moment is this distance multiplied by the force the clockwise moment is always the perpendicular distance so if I give you this distance I would have to give you this angle on um, when you were able to find this you'd have an adjacent and a hypotenuse which is um, cos yes so cos theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse and you find for the adjacent side and it will be the clockwise moment will be the force multiplied by the adjacent which will be the perpendicular distance away from the fulcrum right so expect to see something very simil similar to that all right, so this one is simple. All right, next, the conservation of momentum worksheet.